Well, she was the high-class escort earning $3,000 a night to have sex with wealthy men and party with couples who then walked away from it all to become a relationship coach. Yeah, that's right. After six years of selling her services, Emma Jane Love overhauled her career and now the 33-year-old is making it her mission to help others have uh, a happy and healthy relationship. Emma Jane joins us live from the Gold Coast. Uh, lovely to see you, Emma Jane. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. We, we've got to go back to kind of the start, right? Uh, paint a picture for us about the life you were living as an escort. Sure. So as an escort, I really was travelling around Australia quite a lot. Uh, I could make up to $3,000 a night, but mostly I would do an hour, two hour sessions, which were really exploring intimacy and connection and sometimes sex, but not all the time. And then I was also, uh, I was running events, I was running um, swingers parties, charity events, I was doing personal development, and I really, I think it's... You know, like any industry or any work, it has its ups and it has its downs, and it, it literally does, right? Yes, yes, if you say so. Yeah. <laughs> now, you decided to leave the industry after six years, mm -hmm. after all those ups and downs. Why? Yes. Um, look, for a few reasons. The first reason was that my business um, that I do now as a, a relationship and sex coach really started to flourish and get quite busy and I realised that I was only holding on to my escort work out of a sense of safety, like just in case it didn't work out. And the second reason is is that I'd done a lot of healing on myself, particularly around sex uh, on my body and I realised that it just didn't, it was not in alignment for me anymore. My body just started to say, no, look, this isn't for you. Um, and the other thing is that I had a couple of relationships while I was uh, working as an escort and as you can probably understand, the men really struggled with my work and it, it caused a lot of issues. So I, I made a decision that I wouldn't actually have a relationship while I was escorting, that I'd wait till I, I finished and, and, and when that time came, I, I just thought, you know, I want to be more open to having my own personal intimacy, my own personal um, relationship. So. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. you teach what you call as a unique form of relationship coaching and sexual healing. Yeah. So what does the sexual healing involve? Yeah, so sexual healing is really about helping us to heal any shame, guilt uh, or disconnection that we have around sex, which can cause blockages and sexual issues and inability to feel full pleasure. So the work that I do really uh, works with awakening people's sexual energy, where, where most people are quite disconnected from their sexual selves, and really opening them up to connect to themselves as these amazing sexual beings that kind of feel just liberated and alive and vibrant. Uh, and it, it's beautiful. It's really amazing. Yeah, would we find that in a traditional counselling setting, like you're on one couch and someone's on the other couch, or is it more a, a hands-on approach? Yes, yeah, so definitely at the start of my sessions I do sit down with my clients and we talk about the issues that they're having and then we uh, do what's called body work, okay? So I work with, uh, I do tantric massage and that can be a hands-on uh, involving uh, genital massage uh, and intimate touch but it's always within my boundaries and within my clients' boundaries for what they need. And is this with couples or do you just see individuals? I see uh, both couples, uh, men and women as well. Okay. How do you think your experiences as an escort um, are helping your clients? I imagine over the years you've heard uh, plenty of bad stories about marriages and relationships. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, the main reason that men would come to me and, and the, the thing that they would tell me is that they would say, I love my wife but there's just no intimacy in our relationship. Right. And, and that would kind of sadden me. And so the work that I get to do now is helping them to be able to have more intimacy. And I work with women. I do sexual healing with women as well, both uh, in person and online. Um, I run some programs and things where I can get help the woman as well so that they can start wanting to be on, on more intimate with their partner. Um, but I think the main thing is that I, I found is that Men really open up to you when you hold a space that is judgment free and they open up to me about their deepest, darkest diet desires and fears and so I'm really lucky that I, I'm able to help them open up to things that they'll never tell their um, partners or family because they feel too ashamed and that can be so liberating in itself. What, what's your message for individuals and couples when it comes to relationships? You know, I think the number one thing is that it's relationship with self first. So often we get lost in our relationships and I work with a lot of women who have experienced abuse um, 
and, and they get lost and they give their power away. So it's about making yourself number one and, and putting your needs first um, and allowing a little bit of compromise here and there, but never sacrificing. And the second thing is, is and I know this sounds super cliche, is that communication is key. And when I say communication, I mean being vulnerable. So that means sharing those desires, sharing those fears, and really having your, the other partner hold a safe space where they don't judge, they don't try to fix, but they just listen and they receive the other person. Yeah. yeah. But, but EJ, yeah. Just, just before we go, because we're pretty sure. much out of time, but oh, there, are, there are guys watching going, yeah, that sounds okay to me. There are women watching going, I'm, we, we have intimacy issues, but I'm not sure I want my husband going to EJ for some tantric and uh, genital uh, massage. Yeah, so I, what I do is I, uh, I I, I offer to be able to talk to the partner. Sometimes they might come along, or sometimes I will talk about what are your boundaries, and we am able to work within those boundaries and make it sure that everyone is okay with it. Yeah. Fascinating chat. Mm. Thank you for talking to us this My morning. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Thanks, See you so much. Later. Okay.